How's it going, David and Comic Book Investments? So in this video, we're gonna look at five keys that are dropping in price. And yes, this might be the biggest, I think it is pretty much the biggest drop I've ever seen. 97%, 97%, that is insane. I remember looking at for this book, I was like going through trying to figure out the price of it because I had one and I was like, oh, let's see what it's worth now. And I'm like, oh my God. I had quite a few of these and you know they were just dropping so fast that I couldn't like keep up with you know how fast the price adjustment was uh was happening but yeah a crazy 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 one uh also got some other ones that are massively dropping some of these you guys suggested so always put in the comments down below I try to get to as many as I can and just comment something if you want me to look it up if you think it's going up in price or going down I'll put it in uh, my little list and then see if it fits within this program. All right, before I do, if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe and like button. All right, let's get in the first one. Avengers Annual 10, first appearance of Rogue. A 9.4 is down 71% from 525 last year to 150. A 9.6 is down 71% from $1,000 last year to 290. And a 9.8 is down 63% from 2,500 last year, now selling for 935. So, yeah, this one, pretty rough. 71%, I'd say, is like on the, right around the average for these videos that I do. Uh, 63 isn't that bad. I saw the uh, 60, uh, the 98 kind of jumped up a little bit on the tail end, but overall, just pretty much going down. I mean, there's really, it's just crazy to me, if you look back before the comic boom, you can literally see it's like this slowly going up over time, had a little jump here, and then all of a sudden it's a whoosh, this skyrocketing, probably like, looks like it's like almost like 10 xing in price within a year. Um, but it's going back down. But when the dust settles for this book, and a lot of these books in general, it's gonna be higher than what it was pre-comic book boom. So if you went to like 2019, it'll probably be higher than it was in 2019 numbers. So even though there's a big swell, in the end, all these comic books are going to end up higher in a higher range. So that's, I guess, the bright side of this book. Rogue specifically, I mean, I still think Rogue is a good character. They're coming out with a new X-Men movie. They're coming out with the 90s cartoon again. And Rogue was, you know, featured prominently in that one. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Next, we got Giant Size X-Men number one. First appearance of the new X-Men, second appearance of Wolverine. A 2.5 is down 35% from 3,000 back in May, so not too long ago, to now selling for 1950. A 9.0 is down 48% from 12,600 last year, now selling for 6,600. And a 9.8 peaked at 72,000, now selling for 33,600. That is down 53%. So, I mean, yeah, this book, obviously went sky high. Uh, I noticed a lot of these I was looking, they kind of leveled off for a while. So pretty much, you know, went up, started going down, but then kind of had this leveling off. Even this one, if you look at the graph, it's kind of like it had, you know, 72, dropped way back down, then kind of went up. And it's been like, kind of just, it's up and down for a while. That's, I seen most on these, uh, the grade ranges. Now, obviously November, December, and even part of January, and a little bit of October, always terrible times for comic books in general. Um, they're always, you know, people are spending their money on not comic book things because they're going out of town. Uh, you got two holidays, big holidays that you go out of town for, usually Thanksgiving, you know, Christmas, and then even like New Year's sometimes. So, oh, and you're buying gifts for people, going places, things like that. The last thing people want to do is start spending money on comic books. Now, that's really good time if you have money to start picking up. So you'll notice, minus the last two years, because that was this anomaly, um, every round winter time, things start going down. And so that's a good time to pick up stuff. Usually right around, you know, February-ish, things start picking back up to like normalcy, uh, what they're gonna be throughout the year. So this is no, no different. I've seen some drop recent ones. Um, but if you look at the overall drop from the peaks of this book, 53% for a 9.8, 48%, 35%. Like, that's not big drops. This is like going from record price to what it's currently selling for. A 35% drop, that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, obviously, 
it's not going up, you know, in the direction hitting record highs, but to go, you know, I don't expect every book to sell at its record price every single time it sells. So there's obviously variances going on throughout, you know, one's a buy it now, one's an auction, not very many people looking, December time, not a good time to buy, things like that. So overall, you know, you know me, I'm very, very um, bullish on this book. So meaning I think it's a good, great long-term investment regardless. If you're the person that paid 72,000 for a 9.8, you will get your money back one day. When that day will be, I don't know. Probably five years from now is my guess. It will probably be trending around that price. And you're thinking, David, you're crazy. 72000 so too high, whatever. We had regularly Hulk 181 selling uh, over $100,000. Regularly. I think multiple copies have sold over 100000 or close to like the 95000 mark. And if you would have went back 10 years ago, you would have said you're crazy. I literally had... Uh, maybe it was like five or six years ago. Nine eight triple signature by Stan Lee, John Romita, and Herb Trimpey. Nine eight gold label. Literally bought it for thirteen thousand. I could not move that thing. No one. I started price adjusting. Price. Adjusting. I got all the way down to I think like fifteen thousand dollars. No one wanted it. I finally put it in uh, an auction, and someone bought it before the auction even started because they wanted it. Man, I wish I had that book now. Tell me what that's worth, probably at least 100 to 150. So that was not that long ago. So yes, for this book to turn around, it's gonna happen. Same thing people said about Action Commerce number one. Oh, it sold for, it was $300. Why would anyone pay more than that? Next thing you know, it's 50, 100, a million, all that stuff. All right, next we got Inhumans number five. First appearance, Black Widow's sister, the new Black Widow in the MCU. A 9.4 is down 67% from 300 to 100. A 9.6 is down 83% from 550 to $96. And a 9.8 is down 57% from 807 to 348. Surprisingly enough, the 9.8 hasn't really dropped off a cliff. You know, 57% from its high. It's not terrible. Like, obviously, it's going down. I think one of the problems with this book is People jump on like the hype train for different movies and TV shows and whatever, different characters. But to be honest, I don't know if I'm just getting older and I'm getting, you know, you know how when you get older, you just don't like the new stuff, I guess, as much. But phase four is not the good. Like I was just uh, rewatching some Doctor Strange highlights, some clips, and I was like, this just doesn't hit me the same way Doctor Strange hit me. And I know Doctor Strange one was like a long time ago, but um, I don't know what it is. None of the you know recent phase four or whatever it's called has been that great. I think honestly it's been, and I know a lot of people have been saying that and I'm like trying to figure out why, but I mean, this Black Widow 2 character, you know, uh, Scarlet Witches, or Scarlet Witches, uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson's sister. I mean, I, I do not even care about this character. Like if she never showed up in anything ever again, like when Black Widow was in the first one, I thought she's fantastic. I like seeing her, but I don't know. The sister just doesn't really, I don't really care. I don't really care about any of the new characters, to be honest. I wish they were all just gone. <laughs> but nonetheless, that's why I think a lot of times a lot of people are feeling the same way I do. And so it's not hitting. It's not hitting like a Black Widow or not hitting like an Iron Man or Doctor Strange, uh, or at least the first one. Not hitting where people are like gun ho Like when, like literally, you don't have any idea how many fans because of Robert Downey Jr.'s portrayer of uh, Tony Stark, there are of Iron Man now. Iron Man went from like this B, C list tier character. Now it's like huge, massive. So movies can't have effect. They can make fans out of people. Uh, next, ooh, next is the biggest drop I have ever seen. This is a massive, 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 massive drop. Uh, let me do next. Yep, it is the next one. Oh man. Yeah, and I have, I think I still have a couple of copies left, but yeah. Oh, man. All right, next we got is New Avengers number seven, first appearance of the Illuminati. A 9.4 is down 92% from 250 back in February, now selling for $20. A 9.6 is down 97%, basically zero. <laughs> it's worthless. Uh, going from 338 back in February, now selling for $11. Yes, that is right, $11. And a 9.8 is down 88% from 680 to 800. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This thing is dropping 
terribly. So bad. Good Lord. Oh, man. So this is the first appearance of Illuminati. got popular because Illuminati was in Doctor Strange 2. You know, I rewatched that scene. Whatever, it's kind of cool. But that just goes in to show that there's really nothing first about this book. It's the Illuminati. But Illuminati is not a character. It's a group of characters uh, that have appeared in millions of different other things before. So, and they didn't really do much with it. And this just goes to show you how this hype train works on these books. And it's, and I try to tell people, you know, don't give in to the hype train, but you know, people buy what they're gonna buy. Um, there's two, two, you know, two sides of the coin. Uh, if you're buying comics because you love them, then you shouldn't care what you pay for it. You just want it, you want it on your wall, whatever, who cares, then that's fine. But that's not what this channel is really about. I'm not that person. I'm the comic book investment. So if you're trying to buy this as an investment, and usually you could do both things. Like you, it, it doesn't have to just be one or the other. It could be a mix of both. Maybe it's like, oh, I really like this, you know, New Avengers number seven. I like the Illuminati, but I also want to get a good deal. And I don't want to buy a book that goes down a lot, you know, where, or you want to buy it when it is already low, like at $11. Now, granted that $11 sale was on eBay, and it did include, didn't include shipping, so you have to add the shipping charges, but you have to do that with all the ones, all the numbers I have. They don't include shipping charges. So, you know, I try to do compare at least apples to apples. Um, but yeah, that just goes to show that there's a lot of people that like pump these comic books. Oh, you gotta buy, you gotta buy, you gotta buy, you gotta buy. Um, and there's really no data. I try to bring as much data as I can. Obviously, I do speculate and, you know, if, but if you're asking me, would I ever speculate on, you know, most of these modern books? Probably not, uh, because I know that generally what happens to modern books. There's a few that squeak out and end up becoming, you know, home runs. But for the most part, you know, they end up like this. They get, this book was a nothing book. Uh, I think it came out in like 07 or something like that, 09, somewhere around there. So, you know, almost like 10, 15 years ago. And then the Illuminati is going to show up. Okay, well, this was a nothing book before. And then all of a sudden people are like, oh, let's get it. Well, the problem is with this book, like most moderns, supply and demand. There's a lot of these out there. So when people start buying them up, they start going up in price. So then people start getting them graded. I did the same thing. I was like, oh, okay, I have some. I'll get them graded. But then that takes forever to turn around. It took way longer than I thought because it was during the time when CGC was all backed up. And then they end up going this way. And then the movie comes and goes. People lose the desire for it, the want for it. Uh, it doesn't hit, like it doesn't be, a lot of these times these people are pushing these books and they're pushing them at the price as if it's gonna be the next best thing. But most of these characters don't turn out to be anything. Like um, America Chavez, a nothing character. No one cares about the character. It didn't hit the way Tony Stark does. Like, that, like Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr., it's Iron Man, that is like, the best example. That is a perfect, like you can't get any better than that. That brought tons of people to become fans of that character and tons of people involved. Yeah, the movies did great, but it also be, got people to become fans of that character. So it's not just the movie selling X amount of dollars or whatever it is. It's about those people that do watch that movie become fans to the point where they're going out and buying the merchandise, buying this, buying whatever, it's a Funko Pop, buying old comic books. They become a fan of it. That's the problem with this new MCU. No one's becoming fans. They're watching it for entertainment, but they're not becoming fans. It's the same thing I say about Avatar, not The Last Airbender, the blue people one, James Cameron. Yeah, that movie made the most money out of any movies ever made, like almost $3 billion, but there's no true fans of Avatar. Like, I'm sure there are, I'm sure there are, but I'm saying in general, there's not that many people that are like all about it. You go to a Comic-Con, I don't see anybody dressed up, but anyone from Avatar, no one. That's rare upon rare upon rare. 
Like you see lots of people dressing up in, as Iron Man or Hulk or anything like that. And yeah, well, it's a comic con. Or you can go to any type of sci-fi fantasy con. It's rare to see someone that ever dresses up as an avatar anything because it didn't create fans. It was more of like people went there and saw it for entertainment, but it didn't create fans. And that's like the thing that the, this new MCU is not doing. They're making movies, people are watching them, but it's not creating fans. So all these characters just fall away, fall away. And that in turn causes the books to go down because no one's becoming a fan of the Illuminati. First of all, it's not the Illuminati's fault because they got like five minutes of screen time and it's not in the Illuminati that's in here. Some of them were. But even like America Chavez and all that kind of stuff, no one cares about that character. Yeah, there's, I'm sure there's a couple of people who are, but they're not true diehard fans. There's, there's a small, there's always going to be some fans, right? But the amount of fans that you need to build up a book to make it go to new heights and sell for a ton of money, that's not the fans that are happening from these new MCU movies. I'm sorry, they're not turning into a Robert Downey Jr., a Chris Evans, or even Chris Hemsworth. They're not making those types of fans out of people. There's no one running around saying how oh, great America Chavez was, best character in the world, I'm gonna buy all her merchandising, all that kind of stuff, where's the first appearance, all this kind of stuff. I'm sure those people exist, but I'm talking about in large quantities enough to you know, warrant the book to keep on going up to new heights. There's like, yeah, I'm sure like five, 10, 15 people, but that's not enough. The book probably had a print run of like 40 to 50,000 and still probably a ton of them exist all in like nine sixes and nine eights. And same with this book. So yeah, that's the, that's, that's the thing that a lot of people don't like seem to like comprehend. It's not just people watching the movie. It's becoming fans. You have to become fans of it. I saw this, um, some, I don't forget, was it YouTube or TikTok or whatever like that. And she went to this convention and she has over a million followers. No one showed up for a meet and greet. And the same thing happened to Brie Larson. Brie Larson uh, plays Captain Marvel. She was at the Disney Plus con, whatever it was, where they announced new Disney Plus and MCU movies. And she had a meet and greet panel type thing. And there was like no one there. No one. Why? Because yes, the movie made a billion dollars and you'd be like, wow, that's a ton. But there's no one that's fans of Captain Marvel or Brie Larson. Like no one became fans of that character because of that movie. You put Robert Downey Jr., who hasn't been Iron Man since Endgame, you know, I think, uh, yeah, Brie Larson showed up in the Miss Marvel, uh, Miss Marvel TV show. So at least she's somewhat more recent. But and she has a movie coming out pretty soon as well. But you put Robert Downey Jr., I guarantee you that thing would be packed. Just packed. You put Chris yeah, Evans in there. Packed. Chris Hemsworth. Packed. You know, any one of those. I get any Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson, probably be packed. But not Captain Marvel, even though she had her own movie, made a billion dollars because they're not creating fans. Sorry, rant is done. Last one on this list. Werewolf by Night 33. AO is down 69% from 675 to 210. A 92 is down 70% from 1298 to 389. And a 96 is down 72% from 2600 to 750. Um, yeah, so this book is dropping. Um, really not much to say other than the fact that this is the second appearance of Moon Knight. If you're going to get him, I still think, you know, Werewolf by Night 32 is a good book. I still think Moon Knight is a good character to get. Um, I would definitely recommend Werewolf by Night 32 as opposed to 33. They're going to do more of the character, but even if they don't do more of the character, he's still a very popular character. I wouldn't worry too much about the character uh, going forward or the book itself. Have a great weekend.